boy, oh boy, I gotta tell you, things are not looking pretty for Diddy. Puff Daddy, puff. <laughs> Everybody's piling on Diddy. But I'm here to play devil's advocate. Because I've been noticing some weird trends, right? A story comes out from one side. We don't know if it's fully corroborated yet. If Diddy's guilty, then he deserves what he gets. But let's analyze this and let's really try to understand what it means to be a victim. Now, Cassie, who was dating Diddy for 10 years, is the victim in this case. I, I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube, mostly women, who are excited and very gleeful that Cassie sued Diddy and Diddy is falling. I don't know why people are so happy that Diddy's falling, but there's a lot of people who apparently had a lot of jealousy towards the guy and now they're excited. Now I've been hearing all kinds of things about Diddy, so even I'm like, whoa. Is this really the case? Is Diddy really this multi-millionaire, this billionaire guy he has been abusing Cassie. He has been grooming a bunch of teenagers like, like Usher and Meek Mills. And, and he's had sex with uh, Jay-Z and maybe Will Smith. Is this all true? <laughs> Could this be true? I mean, if it's true, it's crazy, right? And my only question is, why am I always hearing hearsay on this? For such a big personality, why can't we just get one person, take a hidden video, maybe that Veritas kid, go into one of these so-called parties that everybody says Diddy does, and get us the evidence? Can it really be that hard to have a hidden camera and go into one of those parties? You know, you have Diddy's former bodyguard, you know, former, uh, you have a lot of former um, employees of all these rappers that are coming out and saying they're doing all these things. And it's like, whoa, if this is true, it's crazy. But my problem is none of them have any evidence. Or do they? Can somebody post it in the comments if there's evidence? Because... You know, there's all these people telling me that Diddy does these parties. Come on, people. In this day and age, why is it that there's no pictures of these parties? Nobody thought to take their camera in there and take a picture? They say Diddy slept with all these male rappers. Why doesn't one of them come out and say that he did it? Every single one of them is going to keep quiet about it? Don't these guys know they could make millions with a tell-all book? So, I mean, I'm not saying Diddy didn't do all these things. I'm just saying there's no evidence that he did. It's just a bunch of people online that are coming up with all kinds of videos for views. And they're getting the views. And when you watch these videos... You never get the evidence that it says in the thumbnail or in the title. It's just a lot of gobbledygook. So I, you know, I don't know. I hope they're not destroying this guy on a lie. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, back to Cassie. The ladies are happy. Cassie went after Diddy. She got all this money from Diddy. And now more women are coming out. They're going after Diddy. Same story happened to Cosby, happened to Kavanaugh, happened to Trump, right? Now it's happening to Diddy. They say Cassie was the victim. But here's the thing. In 2007, I believe it was around 2007, Cassie was dating Ryan Leslie, an up-and-coming producer, I mean, he's the one that put her on the map with that one song, that one hitch song she had. I don't even remember the name. You know that boom, 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 boom. You know that one? Yeah, he produced that song. He put her on the map. He got Bad Boy to, you know, 
put it on the label or something. I don't know what. And uh, he basically gave Cassie her shot at stardom. And uh, what did Cassie do to Ryan Leslie for all that uh, help that he did for her? For all that love that he showed for her? She moved on to somebody richer and more powerful, Diddy. Now, when she got with Diddy, I think in 2007, he had just had twins by his ex-girl or ex-wife, I don't know what they were, Kim Porter, I believe. So she was with a guy, Ryan Leslie, who was a good guy, no kids, single, went to Harvard, you know, smart guy, got her into business. She left him, went to this known womanizer, Jennifer Lopez will tell you, Kim Porter will tell you, right? Lots of women will tell you. Back then he was a womanizer, and now apparently he's a, a groomer. That's a new one. But she got with him, so she wasn't a victim then. Uh, well, back then Ryan Leslie was the victim because everybody used him. Diddy got his girl, he got his artist, left him with nothing. So then they're dating for 10 years. 10 years of being with Diddy on the red carpet, going uh, going all over the world, the Central Pay and wherever all those places that Diddy does. Being in the limelight for 10 years, meeting all the celebs, getting the kind of exposure you would never get unless it was something like Diddy. Remember, being with Diddy is really what got J-Lo her start, right? Nobody knew who J-Lo was before she got with Diddy. I mean, we, we watched in Living Color. We knew she was a fly girl. But Diddy was the launching pad for her, right? Um, now, if Diddy is this crazy guy that does all these things, I wish Jayla would come out and say it. Show us some pictures. Put out some pictures of the things he was doing. Why don't any of these people do it? I mean, it can't be that hard. Just leave it somewhere and let, let somebody steal it from you. Now, I would just make the argument that maybe there aren't any. Maybe there aren't any pictures and it's all just hearsay. And people just don't like Diddy because he's rich and he's kind of an asshole. But there's no evidence. Or is there? Show me the evidence. And I hope people are not just destroying lives just for views. Back to Cassie again. So, let's look at the timeline. She left a good guy, Ryan Leslie, who got her her start, who took care of her, who loved her, dumped him for Sean Diddy Combs, a womanizer who had cheated on J-Lo multiple times, everybody knew it, right? Who just gave, who just had two kids with his ex, Kim Porter. And then you got with him. And then for 10 years you were living with him. And apparently during those 10 years he was abusing you. So therefore she's a victim. Therefore she's suing and getting all this money. But now my question is this. And look, guys, just like I said, I'm just trying to take the other side here. I mean, if guilt, if Diddy's guilty of doing some crazy stuff, then hey, you know, he deserves what he's getting. But just listen to the other side. Let's not all just do, let's not all be sheep. Whenever somebody blames a guy for something, everybody piles on, right? But let's not be sheep. Let's think about this. In 10 years, apparently Diddy was bringing men to uh, have sex with Cassie and it was filming it and really degrading her and all these things. My question is this, um, was she chained in the basement of his house? And then every day he came back with a different guy, he would do this. Was he? I, you know, was she? I don't think so. She stayed in the relationship. We know she can leave a relationship because she did that to Ryan Leslie. She left him for something better. But with Diddy, apparently, who was doing all kinds of degrading things that Ryan Leslie was never doing, was cheating on her with all these women that Ryan Leslie was never doing, that uh, apparently was grooming little boys and, uh, and other rappers that Ryan Leslie was never doing, that, was, that he had some kind of sex trafficking ring that Ryan Leslie was never doing, but somehow she was not able to leave Diddy. Why? Why wasn't she able to leave Diddy? 
So now in 2023, like I said, everybody is saying that Cassie is a victim. She was in an abusive relationship that she stayed in for 10 years in a free country that she could have left, by the way. But let me just look at what an article from, let's say, 2019 said about their split. So it was revealed that in February 2014, Diddy was planning to propose to Cassie, having shared plans to gift the gorgeous star with an expensive diamond ring. In the end, however, fans were wrong because though it appeared as if Diddy was looking to settle down and propose to his former longtime girlfriend, and the chances of tying the knot appeared to look slimmer by the day for Cassie, who eventually pulled the plug. It should be noted that Cassie and Diddy have split on numerous occasions in the past, but sources affirmed that there was no going back for either of the two this time. So, here you go. In 2019, before everybody has decided to start piling on Diddy. This is what the articles were saying. Uh, you know, Cassie stayed with Diddy for 10 years, expecting him to get married to her, expecting him to propose to her, a guy who had six kids, right, before Cassie. She was uh, still waiting for him to marry her and uh, maybe potentially make her uh, the mother of his seventh or eighth kid, right? And uh, he didn't do it. And he dragged her along for years. And uh, eventually she left and got married and had kids. And then two, three years later comes back and starts suing the guy for abuse. All I'm saying is look at it from this side. That just sounds very convenient, right? You were there for 10 years. If you had any self-respect for yourself, you would leave the moment, the moment he, you know, proposed any kind of weird ish to you. You would say, uh-uh, that's not for me. You're out. J-Lo did it. J-Lo, she was with Diddy. Uh, he was cheating and she got tired of it and she left. That's self-respect, right? Cassie stayed for 10 years, showing up at all the red carpet events with him, taking the pictures, enjoying the money, right? And then apparently she enjoyed the uh, personal trainer that Diddy... <laughs> hired for her so much she enjoyed him that she married him right and that's all fine Cassie's a grown woman what I don't like is after enjoying all this stuff for 10 years things that you you could leave right you you guys broke up a number of times in the past but got back together why when you broke up why did you get back together because uh, Puffy's a powerful guy with lots of money and that's what women like maybe I mean, you can say all you want about the guy, but that's why they keep going back to him. So this is why, until somebody shows me the evidence, I just find it hard to believe. I find, I find all these grooming stories, all these um, sex trafficking stories, I just find them hard to believe. They're not unbelievable. It could be possible, because I really do think that the music industry... And the, the, the Hollywood is just full of just weirdos. Like they just, they just do weird stuff over there, without a doubt. They do weird stuff. I mean, I remember Kevin Spacey apparently raped a little boy, and then when they told him about it, he said, "Oh, I, I'm, I'm gay as well." That was his response. Uh, so I, I, I have no doubt that weird stuff happens in Hollywood and the music industry, and all these people might be doing some weird stuff. My thing is. Show us the evidence. Don't be showing me all these videos um, of, of, of people just talking about po uh, potential evidence, but never really showing the evidence. There has to be a picture somewhere of Diddy doing something. Can somebody get that picture? They don't, like they showed a picture of Diddy uh, filming his girl Cassie as she was lying on the floor under the blanket. And they said that that was abuse. That didn't tell me anything. That could happen in anybody's house. You don't know what they, what they were all doing before that picture happened. Like, it, it says nothing. Give us something. We want to believe you, right? We want to believe you. Like, I, just, I feel the same way about the Will Smith. I mean, they, told, they say that Will Smith and Dwayne Martin were having sex. I mean, I mean, it would explain why Jada's going crazy. But still, I don't believe rumors. I need evidence. Right? They're destroying all these guys and they don't have any evidence. They're destroying all these guys and they don't show any proof. And all the women online are raising Cassie up and clapping for her and saying, yeah, get Diddy. 
um, like Cassie is some victim, but she doesn't seem like a victim to me. She didn't have to stay with the womanizer. She didn't have to be with him for 10 years. This is America. If he's an abusive asshole, you'll leave him. Women do that all the time. She didn't leave him because she wanted to marry him. Even though he had six kids before he met her, she still wanted to marry him. Even though he just broke up with Kim Porter, she still wanted to marry him. Even though everybody knew he was a womanizer, she still wanted to marry him. Even though apparently he has been grooming young rappers, she probably was seeing it, she still stayed with him for 10 years. Come on, guys. I'm not saying he didn't do all this stuff, but come on, y'all. Can we see some evidence before we start destroying the man? What do you guys think? Oh, I've been off the wall, I said goodbye.